Today I'm going to teach you how to use the drawing app in Canva so you can create designs like this ones. and this feature is available to all users. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Muñoz and welcome to our channel, the best place to learn how to use Canva. Today we are going to talk about the drawing app in Canva. This is a new feature and it is in a beta phase and this feature is at the moment available only on desktop and on tablet. So it is not yet available on mobile phones. If you go and check it out, it might not be available on your phone at the moment. I know Canva is working really hard on this feature so I guess it won't take long for this feature to be available on mobile devices and as I already mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial this feature is available to all users so if you have a Canva free account or Canva Pro account you can use this feature that I'm going to show you today and I'll be recording my tablet screen because as this is a drawing feature it is going to be much easier to do it with a pencil so I am on my Canva homepage at the moment and this feature is available on any Canva doc type that I know <laughs> so for this tutorial I will go for a presentation doc type I go for this one 9020 by 1080 now that you are in your Canva editor, let's go to the menu that is on the left hand side and click on more. I already installed my draw app so I can see it here under apps and integrations. But if you haven't installed it yet, just go to you may also like and it will be available at the bottom. It's going to be the last one. So just click on it and you will have just to click one button and then Canva Canva is going to direct you to this view. Now I have the draw app open and I'm going to show you all the different features or different tools that we have available here. So we have different brushes, we have a pen, I'm going to show you also the different strokes that we can create with these different brushes. So let's start with the pen. <laughs> so I will start with the pen. Now I'm going to show you how the marker looks and I want to mention something here because I think the pen and the marker have the same brush style. It's just that maybe Canva is making it easier for us to go from a thin line to a thicker line by just changing the brush because as you can see the only thing that is changing at the moment is the size. When I go from pen it says 15 and then the marker is showing me 50. But if I draw with the pen and I increase the size to 50, I will have, let me just go to 50, I will have the same stroke as the marker. Okay, let's go to the next brush, which is the glow pen, and this has this neon cool effect. I think this can help us be really creative with our designs, and I also really like the highlighter. Let me just show it to you. And I really like this brush because it has a square shape, so we have a really really different stroke and it also has some transparency and also you can adjust the transparency so you can have a more transparent stroke as you can see here or a not so transparent stroke. Lastly what we see below the sliders is a color palette so we can change the color of our brushes. Let's say that I want to have a yellow highlighter. I just change the color from here and something that I find quite interesting here here is that we can click on this plus icon and then on the plus icon once again and here you can insert your specific hex code in case that you want to have a particular color on your design or you know like anything that you are drawing and we also have a new feature available here which is the color picker and this is going to allow us to select a specific color in let's say a photo which is going to allow us to have 
more harmonious designs and I'm going to show you how to use it in a couple of seconds. And before we continue with the second part of this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to create these designs, I wanted to read you the comment of the week or my comment of the week which I really liked. Ronnie saw it and he was like, look Diana, you have to highlight this comment and I loved it so why not? And this is the comment. This is from Sam Pham and he says you look like Indian but you aren't right you are right I am from Colombia I am not from India but I actually lived in India for a year and a half and I got the pleasure to use a sari because I was invited to one of these beautiful weddings so I have a photo here this photo was taken back in 2013 2014 more or less and I wanted to show you this picture because I want you guys to tell me if I do actually look like a real Indian or not. What do you think? I really love this picture. I love India. I love the culture. So yeah, that's why I wanted to highlight this comment. And I just wanted to let you guys know that we really, really enjoy reading your comments. So don't hesitate to leave your comment down below. We will be reading you and let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, so here I am in my Canva editor. This time I opened an Instagram post doc type, so that's why it is squared. I'll be using one of the photos available in the Canva library, so let's go to photos and let's search for coffee. Now the photo that I'll be using today, it is this one. It is a free photo, so let's stretch it so we feel the full page and now I'll start drawing on top of this photo. I have my pen here, now let's open the draw up and let's start drawing. And for this specific design we are going to be selecting some colors from the photo. So let's go to our plus icon, plus icon again and now let's select the color picker and you would like to drag this circle until you find a color that you like. This circle you will see that the outer line of the circle it's showing you the color that it is being selected. So let's go for a page like this one. Let's click on done. Now the color is selected. It is showing next to the plus icon. And now let's draw a heart shape on top of the coffee. I guess I will reduce the size of my marker to 36. It doesn't need to look perfect, so just do it fast. <laughs> and then select another two colors and do the same steps. So let me select this color, another heart, and just one color more, something like this. Select your color. Remember to click on done here and draw your last heart. Now I will add a couple of lines more and some dots to decorate the image. And I guess after this we will be done. And here I would like to mention something important. And it is that once I close my draw up, these three hearts are going to be flattened and these are going to be just one element or one design. Let me show you. I will close the window and you see that these heart shapes are now just one shape. If I want to edit these elements, I cannot separate them. So if you want to have them separated, you will need to draw one heart, close the app, draw another heart, close the app and continue doing it like this in case that you want to have all the elements separated. So I want to have my heart separated from the lines that I'm going to draw next. So I'll be selecting the white color and draw some lines right here, adding some little dots as well. And then below the coffee dish, I will add some dots, but this time with the glow pen. Remember to change the color to white and then just add some dots right here. I will close the draw up and as you can see, if I move these elements, these are just going to be one element. They are going to be grouped together, let's say. And yeah, I'm just showing you this because I think it is important for you guys to know that everything is going to be rendered or 
grouped into just one element if you don't close the app. Okay, so here we have the first design. And now I will show you one last drawing idea, which I find quite cool, <laughs> actually. I was doing some research on Pinterest before doing this tutorial, and I saw that idea with a different photo, different style, but I really liked it, so I wanted to show it to you. I'll go to upload because I already have the photo that I want to use here. I'll stretch it so it fills my whole page. And now let's just go to the draw app. This time I'll be selecting the pen brush. Let's select white. I guess this is going to have a good contrast with the blue sky. And now as you can see, I'm going to hold my tablet with my hand and I'll start drawing. And because I want to go around our bodies, I will start moving my tablet so I can, so I can write. <laughs> so it is easier for me to go around our bodies and keep writing. So I already did my text around ourselves and if you want, you can also add an extra touch to it. I already closed the app, so I have the text in one layer and then we have the decoration, let's say, in another layer. So for the decoration, I will use the glow pen, then I will go again for the white color and then just add some dots on top of the text. This is not necessary, but you can add as many details as you want. Doesn't need to be perfect either. Just have fun with it. I'm just showing you different ideas. And this is how this ends up looking. You can also select your drawings and add transparency if you like. You can select them and delete them if you don't want them anymore. So these are the two designs that we just created and I have one animation that I want to show you right now. I created this animation with this draw application in Canva. But, and I wanted to know, I wanted to ask you guys if you are interested in a tutorial in which I will show you how to create this. If you are interested, let me know in the comments and remember to hit the bell button so you receive a notification once the video is up. And one final announcement is that we already have a couple of Cyber Monday templates available in my Canva profile and these are available for free. So if you guys are interested in these kind of templates and many more, we have a bunch of pro templates but also free templates available in that profile so if you are interested in new templates coming up every week remember to follow my profile over there and i guess this is it for today i'm going to leave you guys two tutorials right here that i think you are going to be interested in and i wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial bye